HBO's hit comedy series Curb Your Enthusiasm has been on the air for over two decades. Over that time, the show has spawned its fair share of interesting trivia, much of which has to do with show creator Larry David. However, one of the most interesting pieces of trivia surrounding the show involves how footage from one season four episode helped exonerate a man from a potential death row sentence. This story was explored in the Netflix documentary Long Shot, which appeared in 2017. Join Trender as we explore how Curb Your Enthusiasm saved a man from death row. In 2017, Curb Your Enthusiasm had been on the air for nearly two decades. The show was just about to air its ninth season on HBO, which happened to coincide with the release of a Netflix documentary called Longshot. On the surface, Longshot might have looked similar to many other Netflix true crime documentaries, but there was one notable difference. That difference was the fact that the legal tale explored in the documentary hinged largely on Larry David's hit cable series. Longshot explored how the outtakes from one season four episode were used in court to help exonerate a man that was facing a potential death sentence. The murder in question was the murder of a 16-year-old Martha Puebla, and the man whose life Curb Your Enthusiasm saved was 24-year-old Juan Catalan. The episode in question was the season 4 episode The Carpool Lane, part of which was filmed on location at Dodger Stadium. It just so happened that being at a Dodgers game with his daughter was Juan's alibi, but there wasn't good enough footage from the stadium's security cameras to verify he was there. Thankfully, Juan had recalled to his lawyer that he remembered seeing a camera crew filming something near where he and his daughter were sitting. Juan's lawyer was able to deduce that the crew was filming Curb Your Enthusiasm, so it was only a matter of time before he was able to get the footage. Miraculously, the footage proved to be absolutely what they needed. The murder of Martha Puebla took place in May of 2003. The young woman was fatally shot on the front porch of her home in LA. Martha had recently testified regarding a pair of murders that had allegedly been committed by one of her ex-boyfriends. This man was named Jose Ledesma, and he was found to be among the guilty parties soon after Juan proved his innocence. The reason for Juan's suspected involvement was that Martha's testimony also implicated Juan's brother. Thankfully, his alibi proved he was innocent. Sadly, he spent six months in prison before this happened. Fans of Curb Your Enthusiasm will likely have fond memories of The Carpool Lane. The classic season 4 episode saw Larry David hire a prostitute for the sole purpose of sitting in the passenger seat of his car so he could use the carpool lane to get to Dodger Stadium. Despite some animosity, Larry and the prostitute form an unlikely bond. She talks Larry into letting her accompany him into the baseball game, and she returns the favor by scoring Larry's ailing father some medicinal marijuana. When Juan's lawyer was going through footage of the episode, he was pleasantly surprised to find there was a piece of footage that showed him clearly walking right past Larry. This footage left no doubt that Juan had been at Dodger Stadium the night he had supposedly committed the murder. However, the specific time frame that the footage covered didn't completely exonerate Juan of the crime. While it certainly pinned his location, there would need to be further evidence to verify that Juan had been at Dodger Stadium during the exact time Martha was murdered. His lawyer turned to phone records. By contacting Nextel about the location of cell towers around Dodger Stadium, Juan's lawyer was able to verify that Juan had been at the game until at least 10.12 p.m. At this time, his cell phone had been used to make a phone call that came from a cell tower within a mile radius of Dodger Stadium. Combined with the Curb Your Enthusiasm footage, the cell phone records that his lawyer acquired saw Juan spared from the death penalty. It was eventually found that four other people had been jointly responsible for the murder of Martha, including her ex-boyfriend, Jose Ledesma. After spending six months in prison, Juan was finally a free man. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Trender for more. After being exonerated from the death sentence for the murder of Martha Puebla, Juan Catalan successfully sued the city of LA and the LAPD for $320,000. Apparently, a pair of detectives had used illegal means to get a wrongful confession out of Juan, which had resulted in it being exceptionally difficult to prove his innocence. Both of these officers were surprisingly kept on the police force, though they were demoted to lesser roles in the office. The guilty parties included the aforementioned Jose Ledesma, as well as three other members of a gang known as the Vineland Boys. Though Juan had been facing a death sentence, the four responsible parties were simply given life sentences without the possibility of parole. The whole incident might have been lost to history if it wasn't for Jacob Lamendola, who came upon the tale while perusing the trivia section of Curb Your Enthusiasm's IMDb entry. 
Jacob enjoyed the tale, and the NYU film major soon decided the story deserved to be told in grand fashion. He then made it his mission to film a documentary that included interview footage of all the major parties involved in the incident. This included not only Juan Catalan and his lawyer, but also Larry David himself. It didn't take long for Jacob to convince a few wealthy parties to help him fund his documentary project. With the first small amount of funding he received, he headed to California to start interviewing the lawyer responsible for proving Juan's innocent. His name was Todd Melnick, and he gladly contributed hours and hours of interview footage to the project. After interviewing him for five days, Jacob returned to New York to edit the footage. He took the finished product around town to garner additional funding. With the funding he received from showcasing his completed interview with Todd, he was able to secure footage for an additional series of interviews with the lawyer. This time, the interview was performed side by side with Juan. The hardest interviewee for Jacob to get was Larry David himself. It took a while before he got Larry on the phone, at which point the veteran comedian shot the idea down. But Jacob wasn't willing to give up. He explained to Larry how much of the project had already been completed. Larry was impressed and was won over by the fact that Jacob was simply asking for Larry to contribute an interview. He had initially feared he was being asked to produce the project, something that was outside of his interests. Larry promised to give a 20-minute interview, but ended up talking for closer to an hour. The comedian's interview was incredibly candid and added some much-needed comedy to the otherwise standard true crime documentary format. Soon after the interview with Larry was filmed, the project was finished and ready for release. Jacob shopped long shot around to many places before eventually getting an offer from Netflix. Netflix later premiered the film at the 2017 Telluride Film Festival, after which it appeared on the company's streaming platform. Longshot was released in 2017, coinciding with the release of Curb Your Enthusiasm's ninth season. The ninth season was a big success, and a tenth followed in 2020. According to inside sources, the eleventh season of the show is set to premiere near the end of 2021. Though many years have passed since the show saved a man from death row, 74-year-old Larry David is still as funny as ever. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share if you've got another favorite piece of trivia you love about Curb Your Enthusiasm. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Trender if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.